Uh, I'm Badruddin. I head the business development uh, for uh, Rockpool Rockpool. And in today's presentation, I'm going to talk about Rockpool as a group and how to really choose the right insulation material. That's going to, that's going to be the theme for today. Well, to begin with, uh, let me shed some light on this term rock wool. Uh, I think this is one of the most common requirements uh, in the construction industry and especially for steel buildings. But at the same time, there is some confusion to this term. You know, a lot of people consider this as a generic name or they don't know whether this is a product name or is it a company name, whether this is a generic name or it's a brand. A lot of confusion does exist in the market. So I take this opportunity to clarify that Rockpool is a brand. It's not a generic name. Yes, you heard me right. Rockpool is a brand. It's a Danish multinational. Uh, we started in 1937 in Denmark and it's the largest manufacturer of this material which is actually called as stone wool. Yes, that's the generic name of the material, stone wool. So I, I love giving this example that our situation globally is just like Xerox. You know, we never say that get me a photocopy, we always say get me a Xerox. That's only because Xerox is such a popular machine. And then the same thing has happened with our brand. That whenever you see a similar looking material, you feel that's raw wool. But that's not the reality. Uh, as I mentioned, raw wool is a brand and the generic the name of this material is actually stone wool. Now, as a consultant or as a, as a client, how do you really come to know which is the original rock wood? So, I'll give you two simple ways. One, always spot the original rock wood logo, the Volcano logo, which is there on the screen. It should be there on the data sheet, it should be there on the product, everywhere. The original rock wood logo. And you should always call out for, reach out to Roxul Rock Wood. Roxul Rock Wood is the entity of our company in India. We operate as Rockwool Rockwool here, which is a 100% subsidiary of the International Rockwool Group. So next time someone comes and tells you that we are from Rockwool, you have something to check, please. In India, we are around 11 years old and our factory is in Gujarat, in the Hedge, and we have been supplying to the Indian market as well as to the overseas market from here. Moving on, uh, just to highlight the typical applications where Rockwool goes. So we have been listening to some fantastic presentations about the steel buildings and the designing and so on. So we don't design the steel buildings, but we are somewhere adding value to the steel buildings by giving you the right insulation material. So we have insulation materials for a single skin roof, that's the under deck, for over deck insulation, for sandwich panels and for walls. But, the, but, the, but what is something which is important over here is that for every application, the performance requirements differ. It's very different for a roof, it's very different for a wall, it would be very different for a overdeck insulation. So we are, as a company, because that's our expertise, we are engineering the product depending on the application to meet the right kind of performance requirements. That's what we do, yes. Now let me clarify another point over here. Again, we've seen a lot of uh, BOQs and uh, you know, tenders mentioning mineral wool of so-and-so density and so-and-so thickness. Again, this is a myth. Okay, there is no material called as mineral wool. Mineral wool is the name of the family of all kinds of fibrous insulation materials. So the right side of the slide, what you see the generic name or type, that's the generic name of the material and all of these fall under the mineral wool family. So next time you want a stone wool, that's the original rock wool, and if you are only writing mineral wool, it won't work. So be very specific the kind of insulation you need because the performance requirements of a stone wool versus a stag wool versus a glass wool are very very different. I'm just going to touch base a few points on that, but I just wanted you know to, you to take a special note about this particular slide. That's really going to help you to choose the right insulation material. Moving on. So you know, typically, as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, we are manufacturing stone wool. And what really happens is the basalt rock that is coming out of a volcanic eruption, we are converting that to fiber and that, uh, and that whatever properties or strengths a basalt rock has or a stone has, that is always replicated into our material also. So that includes the top ones, the fire, thermal, acoustic, very, very durable, acoustic wise it's better, very, very good in terms of water repellency and so on. 
So out of these seven, which are the main strengths of stone, I'm going to touch base on one special point, which is the fire point, which I feel is the most critical because it's directly related, related to human lives. Now again, there's a lot of confusion in the market as well. That what, which, I mean, every, every company comes and tells you that okay, our insulation material is fire related and so on. So again, let me highlight the fact that when a fire typically happens in a building, the temperature in the first 10 minutes reaches around 600 degrees Celsius. Maybe in the first hour around 925 degrees, and after two hours it's just about 1049 degrees Celsius. So typically you need an insulation material which has a melting point of more than 1100 degrees Celsius. Only then it will perform for two hours in a, in a fire situation. And that is exactly what our material does. The melting point of our material is 1197 degrees Celsius to be precise, which is way higher than a two hours fire temperature. This is just a short video I would like to show to you know, demonstrate the fire performance of our material versus the other. That's a generic glass wood material that we have tried. You can see the difference. That's an expanded polystyrene LP, as what we call it. This is a polyurethane foam. Again, very, very combustible. And this is the worst, the XPS, the extruded polystyrene, as we call it. Highly combustible. Again, the rock wool. There's a fire on one side and the lady on the other side is actually putting a hand behind it. You can see nothing happens. So that's the fire safety you can expect from the original rock wool. Uh, just to end my presentation, I'm just going to highlight six of the top projects that we have done in the last two, three years. Uh, you know, that begins with uh, the Ola factory in, uh, in, I mean, I think somewhere in South. Uh, Mr. Srinivasan, I can't find him, but I think he was the one who has helped us, uh, you know, to get this product uh, in reality. So, uh, the typical requirements were there were thermal, acoustic and fire and our material was able to achieve that. Next, different kind of project we've done is in uh, Dhirupati, the electronic manufacturing unit of TCL, where there was a huge uh, overdeck insulation or a flat roof insulation requirement. Then we've done projects of the, the uh, Foxconn in Chennai itself, where they wanted some very, very robust and uh, good insulation material for acoustics, fire, thermal and so on. We've done some very good projects for sandwich panels as well, the Rockwood sandwich panels which are very, very common. Uh, nowadays, uh, one of the best highlights I would like to uh, you know mention over here is the the bench tiger reserve in, in MP, uh, which uh, actually you know where uh, there's a highway and on both sides uh, there's a tiger park tiger reserve. So we have installed our sandwich panels, rockwood sandwich panels, for two purposes. One is that the uh, you know the the vehicle noise or the noise pollution shouldn't be you know uh, uh, affecting the animals, the tigers, and secondly the light of the of the cars, which shouldn't be you know disturbing them. So we have done that and in fact the National Highway Authority, I think they are you know, implementing this at different locations at different highways. So you know, we uh, want to do more and more work in that case.